All right, I've launched the database and let's start looking at the select statement, exploring how we can use it. The thing I wanted to let you know is the select statement's really broken out into two major parts. There's the piece where we specify which columns we want to see from the table. And then there's the uh, portion of the statement that we, where we tell the computer which column we want to look at. So the general form looks like this. It's um, select, let's say, company name from customers. So I got the select, that's the command, the column, from, and then what table, and then the semicolon, the end of the statement. If I hit enter, you see it comes back with company name and then a list of all the company names in my database table called customers. So you're probably asking, well, how'd you know there was a table called customers and that there were a um, column and they're called company name? Well, one command that you can use to learn more about your database is um, the dot table command. So I can go dot table, hit enter, and you can see it comes back with all the tables in our database. We have customers, employees, order details, orders, and shippers. And then I can use a command called schema to find out which columns are in the table. So I can go schema and then customers. It comes back with actually the command that was used to create the table. It's a lot of this we're going to ignore for now, but what it's important to understand here is you can see the actual columns that are in the table. So there's customer ID, company name, contact name, contact title, address, city, state. Also note that when I use the dot command, I don't put a semicolon after to execute them. If I put a semicolon after, it just comes back like what? So I take the semicolon off and boom, it'll run the statement. So let's explore a little more about the select statement. One thing that you can do is to select more than one column at a time. You probably already knew that. Let's see what that looks like. So I can go select, let's say, customer name or company name. I'm just using the backspace to correct my spelling mistakes. And then city from customers. And it comes back with the company name and city. Also want to point out that the statements um, case insensitive. So I can say uppercase select, and then let's do a big O uppercase from. This is a way a lot of people like to do it, where they put the reserved words in uh, all caps and hit enter. Comes back the same result. 